what's popping homies it's your favorite homegirl gossip girl and i was sent this in my email um about damon john he's the star of shark tank and it says here that he's um the shark tank star damon john tried to sell florida n95 masks at an inflated price so let's go further into the story and let's see what's going on okay where are we at Alrighty, here we go shark tank star damon john was reportedly among the people who tried to sell n95 protective masks to the state of florida at an inflated price during the pandemic florida like many other states has been desperate for protective gear for healthcare workers battling the pandemic governor ron DeSantis previously called the hunt for n95 masks specifically shady as hell and took steps to ensure that the state's division of emergency management was free to broker deals to get the equipment as soon as possible but according to the miami herald john the um, the shark tank star ceo of the shark group approached the state in march saying he could get florida one million masks from china at a rate of seven dollars per mask an increase from the less than two dollars they usually sell for and one of the highest prices that the state was willing to pay. With deals for masks falling through left and right, Jared Moskowitz, director of the Florida Department of Emergency Management, agreed to John's terms. Hmm. So he agreed to the terms because, you know, Florida, their health care workers are in need of protective gear, just like everywhere else. Okay. He said, this was not like somebody off the street. What in God's name was that? I'm sorry. This was Damon John. I have my window open, so... Oh, never mind. This was Damon John, Marco was said. He came to me and said, I've been in the clothing business. I have connections with factories in China. Unfortunately, the deal fell through on April 13th. It's unclear at this time why the deal fell through or where the $7 price point came from in the first place. However... It is reportedly now among the many deals being scrutinized by 3M, the company that makes the N95 mask, which has a team of lawyers investigating potentially fraudulent vendors and inflated price points throughout the U.S. and Canada. 3M is not aware of how the short group would gain access to our respirators as it is not an authorized distributor of 3M products or one of our channel partners a statement from 3m provided to fox news wow that is crazy why would he make such i mean did he not know that this was going to get out you know and they say that he is one of the many people who is trying to get these masks and sell them at a inflated price so my thing is this he's not broke okay he has money so I guess he was looking for another way to get extra money because he was going to sell these masks at $7 per mask and he was going to get 1 million masks. Okay, usually they go for $2 or less per mask in China to come over here. So he bumped up the price. If that's not a hustle, I don't know what is, but it's a bad hustle because he's a business person. Okay, he was on Shark Group, I mean Shark Tank. He's well known. Okay, yes, he was in the clothing business, but why would you want to taint your name and, you know, with this stuff? Like, this is really serious. People, when, let me tell you something. This pandemic has brought out the worst in people because people have bumped up the prices for bleach, toilet paper, all kinds of things. They use this time because they feel like people are desperate and they're going to pay for that service or that product by any means. So, as you see here... The Department of Emergency Management, they was willing to they was willing to pay on his terms, but the deal fell through. And I think the reason why the deal for, fell through because 3M maybe got wind of it and told Florida Emergency uh, Management that hey, he's not authorized to buy from me. We just never know what goes behind go, goes on behind closed doors. And let me tell you something, this is, this, this look bad on his part. This look really bad on his part because you are a well-known face, okay? Um, 
right now you're trying to finesse the system like everybody else. You know, people out here, it's no joke. They need masks. These frontline workers that work in the hospital, they need protective gear. And people are just trying to bank on that and eat and grease their pockets, make profits off of it. You know, I also wondered how many celebrities, how these celebrities get so much PPE in the first place. You know, like, it, it just really boggles my mind. But when you have money, sometimes money talks and bullshit walks, right? So you guys, you let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this? Does this make him, just, does this whole thing give make you want to give him a side eye? You know what I'm saying? And be like, mm, you know, what you doing, sir? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you think about this whole situation? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe and stay around. I'm mad cool. It is what it is. So you guys have a great weekend, great Friday, or whatever you're going to do. And I will holler back next time. Later. Hold up. Wait a minute. One more thing. Damon John denies these accusations, right? So, here's my thing. He said he did not try to sell N95 masks. But, my thing is this. This is where it gets kind of complicated. Why would they say he did if he didn't? Like, what? what's going on here? Why would they use his name? And they say he's among he's one amongst other people who was doing this. So, what do you think, guys? Why would they use his name? Why would they say he was the one that was trying to sell? But he said he wasn't. So there's a loose... There's a loose a, a loose um screw somewhere in the loophole. Okay, something's not right. Somebody is not telling the truth. One of these stories is doing their own thing. Okay. So what do you guys think? I think maybe he did, but he just ashamed that it got out there that he was one of the people who was trying to sell masks on the side at an inflated price. Because I just don't understand why would somebody say he would do that? And this is the Florida, I mean, this is the, the Florida Department Emergency Management. So, I don't understand why would he lie? Why would they lie about that? Let me know in the comment section. What you think? I'm out.